Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. Thank you very much for joining me again in another video. In this video, I'm going to talk not about the useful app for your deck station, but the useful website for your deck station, especially if you tinkering with images. I mean, creating a simple thing. If you're a YouTuber, you need the YouTube thumbnails. So there is a couple of options for you. If on the Windows, you can go and buy Adobe Photoshop. If you're on Mac, you can buy a Mac video manipulating software if you have an android phone there is loads of android apps available for you to download and use it but there is a website which is very similar to what you would see if you use a photoshop and the website is called photopia this website can be accessed from samsung internet browser or the google chrome browser i'm going to use a google chrome browser in this video but basically it's the same thing on a samsung internet browser so I'm going to open up a Chrome browser. I'm just going to type Photopia. And after the search results uh, finished, like loading, uh, first of a image, first of a link, first link is going to be photopia.com. So I click on that, it opens Photopia page. And here you go. This is, looks very similar to what you would see if you're using the Photoshop on Windows. Pretty much it's nearly the same layout. It gives you option, a uh, new project, open from a computer, or do a demo. And obviously these are files that supports this website, and this website can open these files. There's quite a lot of them. So you can open Photoshop, Adobe XD, GIF, raw images, etc. We're going to create a thumbnail for this particular video, for this exact video, using the Photopia website. So I'm going to do new project, and it gives me option. I, need to, I can name it the new project, so I'm going to say YT thumbnail. Resolution 1280 by 720 or basically my thumbnails, they all 19, uh, 1920 by 1080. So I'm just going to click on this where it says FB event image. For some reason, it says Facebook event image, but basically that's what I'm using when I'm creating um, thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Resolution at 72, I'm going to do 100 pixels per inch and create. And here you go. I have the white canvas to play. And my Google Assistant decided to kick in. <laughs> okay, so white canvas and it's a background and basically it's locked. So pretty much, like I said, it's the same similar layout what you would find on the Photoshop side. Under account button, there is an option for you to log in. And with a free account, you will get PSD import and export, advanced editing tools, no ads, only available for premium. And helping us to improve is available on a premium. And that's the basically the payment terms that you can go and buy right difference between free and the premium is quite simple it's only free gets only two features and the premium gets all four the free gets ads so it's going to be ads be being displayed while you editing image and the ads is basically this block on the right hand side from my experience using this website pretty much these ads don't really get in the way because majority of the uh, monitors that you're going to use they are widescreen monitors so just adding inch and a half on the side as an ad don't really makes a big difference so free version is fine and helping us improve um, the website Photopia it's up to you if you want to pay nine dollars for 30 days or twenty dollars for 90 days and help them to improve by probably sending them a feedbacks or crash reports and etc it's all up to you if you, you want to use free or you want to use premium it's all all down to you. I'm not basically they're not contacting me anyway. They're not asking. I just found this by Googling photo Photoshop alternatives online. And one of the results was this website. So that's how basically I found this website. So right now, uh, obviously, I have an account to log in, but I'm not going to log in. I'm just going to go as an unregistered user. So I have the white background. Next thing we need to find the uh, image for our background. So if we're going to go here and I'm going to write, for example, color gradient and we're going to go in images and let's find the color gradient that would suit my thumbnail okay i don't know which one to use to do to do to let's use oh my god so many to choose from let's use this one let's use this one so right now i'm just going to right click and download the image and it's downloaded into downloads folder i'm going to go here file open uh, to, to, to take a recording allow so what you mean it's gonna 
record a video no 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 i don't want this i want to open and place uh from my files downloads so let's click this i have my youtube logo so i'm gonna choose that i double clicked on the downloaded image and i have this selected so i'm just gonna quickly drag around just to make sure it fits and done so i have my background in here next thing i'm just going to create a new layer i hope you can see just below my face which is just there there is a couple of icons there which i can choose so i'm going to click on this which is creates a new layer so i'm going to name it this title i'm going to click on a t or just click a computer in, uh, on the keyboard letter t and i'm going to write tor pia click ok let's make it larger so by here a bit at the angle now i would like to change the font so let's go back editing this text and the fonts it's a lot of fonts for you to choose from so you can select all of them or find the font quicker so let's choose this i hope that's going to be okay for you all guys to read so we're just gonna do it this way this website has one of the very cool features that I'm actually, I hope that this website will have, and it does, and it's basically creates outer glow, which I quite like to use in my in my thumbnails, where is the text and is a, fi a fine line going around every single letter and character and makes like a glowing effect. So this can be found under ELF or EFF. Yeah, it's EFF, it stands for effects. And this is all effects you can use. I obviously my camera is blocking, so I'm just quickly gonna move it up and slowly but steady. So here we are. That's the one we're gonna use. So I'm gonna click on that. And now I can use which uh, like effect of the glowing effect I would like to add to this text. So let's say I wanna add um, noise, no size, add a bit of size. Okay. Okay, so size, let's do 12. 12 text color of shadow color. We want to have white. Okay, we might increase this a bit. 20. 20, enter Photopia. Mm. Or should you do white colors and black, uh, black background? So let's do this way. Do a black background and we're gonna choose the white letters okay okay so okay and the effects uh glowing okay we're gonna try to range nope okay why why you don't wanna add i can't remember what i actually done This is weird. First it was working, now it doesn't. 50. 50. Spread. Okay. Noise. This is weird. Particles. Okay. All right. It's uh, a bit slowish on the preview. Right. That's why. So we're gonna choose a black, that's fine. We're gonna do opacity none, opacity none, noise none. Size we're gonna do a bit, okay. Spread we're gonna do there, and this is gonna go there. Okay, I'm probably doing something wrong here. I don't know. I've... Maybe this website doing some tricks on me. Let's try go back and do the text white or the the shadow to be white okay okay and the text let's do black I'm just messing around here okay so auto glow I must doing something wrong here because it should give me our auto preview okay the this is a bit uh, like a like a particles going around the text which is my I don't know it's uh, okay okay range maybe because i'm not logged in all right okay now we're talking 
Okay, bingo, I found it, so 20. So noise, let's reduce noise and opacity increase. Bingo, that will do, I'll leave as it is. So we have the, <laughs> we have a title. Next, we need to insert the um, deck station logo, why not? So we're gonna go here and uh, back to our Google search and I'm gonna search for Samsung DeX. Uh, Dex logo and boom one of the first ones that's it so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna say download image file open and place from my files Dex logo double click boom I have a Dex logo here so shift and drag okay okay now let's go and see how the magic one works so click on that, click delete. Okay, it needs to be a first uh, convert to a smart object. Uh, oh, risk size. This is one of these new new options that you need to choose in this one. Basically, there is an option. I hope you can see. No, you can't. Let me move my camera out of the way slowly but steady. But there is a option here which you need to click if you need to convert the image to uh, more edit editable and this is called by here it's called the rest aside so I don't know why this is required here but every time you click this image then becomes more uh, let's say you can edit image a bit more better and get more functionality so you need to do that every time you're editing image okay so we got that we got that and uh that's it that's in so okay let's add another image and this is going to be a Mr. P logo. Mr. P logo file open and place from my images. YouTube my logo. So that goes here somewhere. Control T. Uh, Rest size again. This is having a problem. So let's see. Okay. So Control T. Let's move this somewhere here. Okay, and why not put this underneath my Photopia logo to go over it? Brilliant. And the last thing is, let's write what's all this thing about. So let's start from here. Photoshop alternative. Text can go outside the the thumbnail which is not a problem because I'm just gonna go and I'll go to resize it anyway that is brilliant Photoshop alternative so go a bit up and let's try to add the same auto glow effect which is automatically pre-applied from a previous one that will do so here we are Photopia Photoshop alternative is a website available for free to use just go to this link I will leave the link to this website by the way in the description below so if you Don't can't be bothered just looking what is on the screen just go at the description Click the link it's gonna take you straight away to this website and you can start editing just before you start editing just consider Clicking like on this video and why not subscribing to my channel? I, I do all these kind of wonderful things what you can do on Android devices and the deck station and Linux and Dex. Pretty much I'm just doing all the tutorials how phone can become your daily computer and gaming console and video player and multimedia server and network attached storage. Pretty much uh, limitless possibilities. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click like if you decided that this video is okay or click dislike if you think that what I showed you is bullshit. But please let me know in the comment section below why you think that. And like I said, I'll leave all the links that you need to know in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.